This morning we have another Rediscover Arizona. This time we're focusing on the small mining town that is just south of Tucson. Bisbee just got certified as an international dark sky community. 12 News journalist Crystal Long has the starry scoop. If you have visited Bisbee before, there's a whole new way to explore it now. At night, the Four Corners region has the most dark sky locations than any place in the world. And with Bisbee just added, Arizona now has 21 dark sky communities, places, and parks. In about a three and a half hour drive southeast of Phoenix, you'll be in Bisbee, also known as Copper City. But perhaps something even more valuable than what was mined from its ground is found in its sky. Bruce, what's the value of a dark sky? Well, initially we have all the economic issues that'll bring more people to Bisbee to enjoy what we have. But uh, the reason most people come is more of a quality of life issue. In larger towns like Phoenix, where they have so many lights, be it the Light pollution blocks out a good portion of the cosmos. All you see is the brightest stars. You come to Bisbee, we can still see the Milky Way. This is available all the time. What did it take for Bisbee to become a certified international dark sky community? It was a six year process. All the lights that were installed before we passed the new ordinances were grandfathered in, which means we still have a lot of unshielded lights. And so our public outreach now goes to the citizens of the town. Change your porch lights and things like that that send out a lot of glare all over the community and um, light up what you need. You know, this was quite the undertaking. What made you raise your hand and say, I'm going to spearhead this. Let's do this. I've always been fascinated with the night sky. I used to live more in the mountains, and I always had a nice dark sky, and I came to Bisbee, and it's changing so much, becoming a more popular tourist destination. And I realized that if we interceded quickly before the development ran unchecked, that we could control it because everybody still gets to have their lights is just more focused and uh, without glare. So when is the best time to visit Bisbee to do some stargazing? We're good 12 months out of the year. The winter time skies are probably the clearest and the nicest, but you can come in midsummer if you don't hit a monsoon night where it might rain. It'll be gorgeous then also.